Hey guys, Arrestnail here, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install and use Shadowplay to record videos or capture clips or whatever. Shadowplay is really easy on your PC, like, you will get, like, pretty much no FPS drops, or even, you might not even get any FPS drops. It's just constantly on. You can have it, like, automatically clip your ELIMs or your wins or whatever, and you can also, like, record videos with it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. So... The first thing you want to do is go to the, the link in the description um, where you can actually download GeForce Experience if you don't have it already. If you have it, you can skip this step. But if you don't have GeForce Experience, go to the link in the, in the description and it should take you to this page. And you want to click download now and the little install window would pop up, start installing. And once that's done, you can click on it. Yes. and it is going to load okay so once it's done um, loading and everything you should get this window um, you have to agree to the license things uh, obviously agree to install I already have it so I'm not going to do any of this but you guys probably all know how to do the setup process for apps you probably do it millions of times so yeah just do just install this set it up and I'll um, and then open it once you're done Okay, so once you open it, you should be on the home page. Um, these are all your games you have. I don't know why mine, some of mine are duplicated. Honestly, I have no clue. But yeah, all your games should be here. And if you come to the top um, left here, you can see home, drivers. You can also update your drivers. So you have a new driver. I have a driver app you need to update. So yeah, this, this will help your graphics card performance. So it will actually give you more FPS or reduce latency or whatever. So if you have drivers you need to update, Make sure you update those. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that after this video. But what we're going to do is we are going to come to the sort of top right here, settings, and we want to click that and um, turn on in-game overlay right here. You want, to, you want to make sure that's on. And you can see here it says press Alt plus Z um, to like show you adjust settings or whatever. So you press Alt Z on your keyboard, and this will come up. So I actually have it on, let me just turn that off real quick. So this is what it should be like. Here, first let's just click settings here. And here you can change all your settings. So you got shortcuts, recordings, you can live broadcast, highlights, photo mode, audio, notifications, like there's so much stuff you can do with this. But for what we're trying to do is if you want to record, recordings, you got your files, whatever. It records 1080p, 60 FPS really easily so yeah we can do that um, broadcast live if you're looking to do that whatever twitch YouTube Facebook um, your stuff there um, but the really cool feature about this is highlights so um, this pretty much lets games automatically capture screenshots video recordings or whatever so um, we actually have to get into a game to set that up so I'll be back real quick Okay guys, so um, I'm back. I loaded up Fortnite. You can it works with whatever game you want. But for Fortnite, um, yeah, so you have to load you have to load up the game if you want. Then we go back to the um, whole process, down to highlights, and you can see you got this whole extra thing here. So Fortnite or whatever game you're playing, make sure that's on. And then you have this whole settings of what you want it to automatically do. So you can have it automatically clip. It goes, I think, the last um, 30 seconds or something like that or 20 seconds or something so you can have it like when you're eliminated when you got a double kill went down elimination multi elimination triple elimination win whatever so you can turn these on average so I get an elim double kill or whatever triple kill so all my kills are automatically saved into a folder and down here see it uh, this is a folder I have but down here, you have there's this slider, and you have to select the maximum amount of disk space. So if you have that low, then it will only fill up it's like if you, if you set that to five, for example, it will only fill up five gigabytes of a folder, and then it'll start deleting older clips. So um, make sure if you have enough storage, set that to max, so you get so it doesn't delete your old clips really, because then now it can fill up a hundred gigabytes of storage without deleting any clips. So. Yeah, just make make that whatever you want. Um, I'd recommend going pretty high though, so it doesn't delete old stuff. But yeah, um, make sure just that that's on, that's on, 
and then you can select wherever you want. And that's pretty much it for highlights. Now, if we go down a bit to video capture right here. So video capture, you got instant replay, so you can, it's like a, you can bind like a key bind and you press it and then it clips whatever last, what part you want. So you can go all the way down to 15, the last 15 seconds, all the way up to the last 20 minutes and it tells you the storage space that you're gonna be using. I have it on one minute. So, oh no, I think I had it lower or something. I don't know, probably doesn't matter. One minute, let's say. So if I have like a nice se sequence of events or like a nice end game or something, I can press, for me, it's Control alt a and um, that clips the last one minute of it. So yeah, you can do that, set it to whatever you want. Um, and then your quality too, frame rate, bit rate, all that stuff. So yeah, just play around with it, find what's best for you. And that's pretty much video capture. Um, as for audio, you got, um, microphones and whatever, uh, so, like, this will capture, like, your voice and your desktop and whatever during, like, all the clips and whatever, so you got your voice, your friend's voice in Discord or whatever, so yeah, you get all the voices and sounds in all the clips, including the highlights, and you can volume, boost, both different tracks uh, so that's pretty much it for audio and then keyboard shortcuts this is so open close in-game overlay push to talk microphone all that stuff capture screenshots here record oh it was all shift a so whatever so yeah for alt shift a will be the last one minute recorded for me alt shift x will be toggle instant replay on and off and Alt Shift R talking man ma is how I start man manually recording. So yeah, all your um, keybinds there. So once you got all this stuff set up, um, you can do more stuff if you want. I this that's all I use. So anyways, you wanna um, turn Instant Replay on, or else none of this stuff will work. So you need inst Instant Replay on, but also you can't edit it. Like look, if I go to edit it. It says you have to stop recording. So, because this is recording your whole PC now, but it's like does pretty much no work. Like it's I don't know how they do it, but yeah, it, this takes like no resources on your PC, but it still records all of it. So, yeah, make sure that's on, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah guys, anyways, hope you enjoyed this video, um, if you did, make sure to like, subscribe if you want, um, share this video with friends, uh, leave any questions in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them, and yeah, I think that's it, so uh, see, see you guys next time, bye!